All right, Defender Tone Master Series. This is the Deluxe Reverb, and we'll also check out the Twin Reverb, which is 85 watts. This is 22, I think. Something like that. 22, indeed. Specs are on here. Tone Master. Fully digital recreation. I don't want to call it modeling, because that's a thing of the past, I think. Uh, it doesn't have any tubes, and it has Celestian um, Neo Creamback speakers with a Neodymium, Nemo, Neo, Neomodymium magnet, uh, which is extremely lightweight as well, so the amps weigh next to nothing. Um, they're really portable, and because it's um, digital, they'll sound good at a lower volume as well. So what, what we're going to try and figure out is how they sound on a lower volume, which I can't let you hear because I'm recording... Um, uh, because I'm recording with the XLR out, which I'll get to in a minute. But at least I can tell you whether it's, it's gonna sound good at a lower wattage or not. Two channels just like the original. Um, this one is just volume treble bass, no reverb, no tremolo. And this one has volume treble bass, reverb and speed and intensity for the tremolo. Lovely amps. Let's turn it around so we can see the back panel. All right, the back. This is the speaker, extremely small and light magnet. Um, it's got a power and a mute switch, which works just like a standby on a tube amp. And this makes it really interesting because this controls the output power uh, and it's tapped. So you can go from 22 to 12 to five to one watt to half a watt and to 0.2 watts. And this is the XLR out, uh, which you can use uh, to record directly to your interface. Um, or you can just plug it in when you're on stage and send that signal directly to front of house. And there's no need to mic the amp. Uh, this controls the line out level. And here's a switch um, to turn the cabinet sim on and off and select number one or number two. Simple enough, let's put it back to full. I'm gonna plug it in. Um, I'll be using cabinet sim number one to record. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so here we go. Um, vibrato channel, volume around just before four, treble is at three, bass is at six, reverb at four, and tremolo vibrato is off. Um, Using CapSim number two, audio is rolling. All right, so this is what it sounds like, clean. That's the only thing that bugs me. There's a lot of decay on the reverb, uh, but it isn't very loud. When it's loud enough... To me it's loud enough like this, at five. The decay is... Never ending, just too much. Thank 
beautiful, beautiful cleans. Let's put the volume at two. Let's put it at six. I'm gonna lean back a bit because it's gonna be loud. around four-ish, four and a half. Let's see how it takes pedals. All right, let's turn down, uh, wait. The vibrato. Do a little light overdrive. Gorgeous. All right. Um, Let's roll back the output power, 12 watts. So this shouldn't affect the signal going to the interface. This is just what I am hearing here and at half power it's at a much more pleasant level to play at because just now it was uh, my ears were bleeding <laughs> um, and this is much more Still loud, um, but really nice for playing rehearsals and stuff like that. Maybe even on stage, just to tame it a bit and you can dial it up. Just that little notch to make it sound better. Uh, let's try the next setting, which was 5 watts. Still sounds really good, really good, um, and it's still loud enough to be enjoyable, but not loud enough to be disturbing to people. Uh, some neighbors might find this too loud. I think mine would be okay with this. You're losing a little bit of that push the speaker is getting, but it's actually really pleasant. Uh, where's the knob? Here, and that is one watt. Turn off the pedal.
really surprised at how good this sounds with so much uh, attenuation. If it is attenuation, I don't know how it's done internally, but uh, still sounding very, very good. And just one watt and plenty of volume available to play it enjoyably. All right, let's try 0 0.5 watts. Okay, so now we're going into uh, bedroom level territory. So this is a level which is really usable at home. Um, and you can still hear that the amp is breaking up a little bit. Um, it's not getting that push from the speakers anymore, but it's still a great and really enjoyable tone. And it's silent, pretty silent. Right with a pedal. It's insane how good this thing takes pedals um, at this low wattage. 0 0.5 watts is insane. Fuzz. Uh, And 0 0.2. Okay, so this is a level when everybody is sleeping in the house, you can play at this level. But I'm almost hearing the guitar. I'll mix in a little of the vocal mic so you can hear kind of what, what I'm hearing here. I'm almost hearing the guitar louder than the amp. Actually really fun, <laughs> really fun to play like this late at night without disturbing anybody. Um, let's put it back to one, one what? And this is 0 0.2. This is an amp that's really versatile, it takes pedals well, uh, works great at lower volumes and you have the option to record directly to your interface. What more would you want? Okay, 22 watts, let's try the 85 watt twin reverb. Um, this is one by 12, one 12 inch speaker, the other one has two 12 inch speakers. All right, I'm gonna swap them and I'll be right back. <laughs> Full 85 watts of power, 2 by 12. This is gonna be insanely loud at full power. Let's try it at 3. Actually, pretty pleasant. The bass is too high. Lots of clean headroom. Is it on 
full power. Yes, it is. Turn it up to four, the magic number where Fender amps come alive. <laughs> It's not even that loud, it's lots more clean headroom and the sound spreads more because of the two speakers. Try an overdrive. And this also has the addition of the middle uh, part. <laughs> you can adjust the mids. Right, louder. It's around seven now. Okay, yeah, this is properly loud. waiting for the reverb trails. Um, I just disengaged the overdrive. It's got the clean punch. The clean punch only a twin reverb has. Alright, I'm gonna engage the power scaling attenuation uh, because it's way too loud in here 40 watts at the moment okay still insanely loud but manageable um, this would be really nice for gigs in a club um, where you can just crank the amp to seven and dial it back a notch. But you still have that. Less reverb. Overdrive! Okay, this is hurting. Hurting my ears. 22 watts. Overdrive. Uh, still very loud. Well, I'm sitting next to it. 22 watts. Um, I would say perfect for rehearsals in a tiny room. Let's do one more notch of the power. It's at 12 watts now. Okay, so this is home level when you have neighbors that love your playing. And now we 
go to five watts. One watt. drive. It's not whisper quiet, but it does the job really well. As for the lower volumes, I found the deluxe reverb a little bit more enjoyable. Um, I would prefer this for gigging, uh, because you can really turn it up to 7, where it starts breaking up and punching, and, uh, and then dial it back, and it'll work in any venue, and all the sound guys will be happy <laughs> that you have this amp. Both amps take pedals really well. Um, the twin reverb is a bit better at that, I think. Um, and you can actually push the amp, which is really cool. We put a lot of volume in front of it, it starts breaking up more. Awesome amps, I can highly recommend them, both at home and for doing gigs with. Thank you for watching. This video was for Rob Nichol, who asked me to do a demo on these amps. And I'm glad he did, because they are lovely. <laughs> Alright, please subscribe to the channel. Bye!